Okay, guys and girls, I am multitasking this evening. Without a doubt, I'm multitasking. It's getting close to dark, and uh, I'm getting ready to go up to the pens and do uh, some videos with the, the deer and look at the antlers, look at Whitey's antlers, and take a look at him because he's been kind of sickly. We've been giving him shots. I think he's going to make it. I believe he's going to make it just fine. And also, uh, of course, uh, Snoopy, uh, a.k.a. Gumball. <laughs> I forgot what I was calling him. I've been calling him Snoopy ever since. We're going to take a look at those antlers in our antler video for this week and uh, it's changing antlers videos. We've talked about that. But uh, I'm going to leave Chris here. I've got her a bowl fixed and uh, to take care of the little deer. I'm going to let them out and it's going to probably be dark when I get back and I'm going to try to get in the pen and, and uh, do something with, uh, with the, uh, the white albinos because um, that video is due tomorrow night. It's due to drop tomorrow night. So I got to get all that done, get that to Pat sometime in the middle of the night so we can put that video together. And this week, I think it's going to be changing deer antlers. And you'll have already seen that by the time you see this because this video is Friday and Saturday. So anyway, I'm just trying to get everything done as much as I possibly can. I've been meetings all day. 104 degrees it got here in southern Oklahoma. 104 degrees. Supposed to have one more 100 degree day tomorrow, and then surely that's it for the end of the year. Here it is, the end of September. But I've got Chris a big bowl stuff fixed up. And right there you can see, right there you can see Chris with her big bowl of stuff fixed up there. And uh, they uh, got my camera a little slanting. I'll try to level it up a little bit if I can. But uh, I want to move this thing around a little bit anyway. But I'm going to go over there and, uh, and let the babies out. You can see they're just really, really impatient. And Chris, what do you think? Are you, you going to take care of them while I'm gone? I don't know. You're going to have to. You're gonna to have to take care of them because I'm getting ready to leave. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm getting ready to go. I'm getting ready to go. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to the pen, and I'm gonna leave you here with the two. And it's probably gonna be dark when I get back, so hopefully the mosquitoes won't get after you. You okay? I guess. You gonna be okay with all that? I don't know. I think you will. I think you will. Your babies over there are ready. They're wanting to get out. I'm gonna open that door. I don't have any milk made for them, honey. So when I come back, I'm gonna to have to get some bottles of milk, maybe to to coax them back into the building, or they may just go back in there. But uh, I, got, I got Chris a big deal there. I've got some oatmeal cookies on top of it. I've got some bread. I've got carrots. I've got Cheerios. I've got crackers. Um, I might have thrown, oh, I threw a few, a handful of pecans, a big handful of pecans. We had some pecans that we got back, uh, that got missed, I don't know, a bad address or something in the mail, and they sent them back. And we set them aside and did not put them in the freezer, which we should have put them in the freezer. And they could, of course, they keep in the freezer just fine. When you leave them set out for almost a year, they got really old and they're bad. And they're not fit to eat, but the deer still love them. So I've got a hand, big handful of pecans. I went through the bag and picked out all the hulls. And those were uh, custom cracked pecans, of the five-pound bag. So I've got a, uh, quite a bit. I've got quite a bit of pecans there, about a gallon of pecans in, in a bag in there. And I put a big double handful in there for those deer to eat, too. They love those pecans, even though they are old. They don't really care. They don't really care. So I'm going to let them out there, see what happens. All righty, here we go. I got my I got my carrots here in my hand. These babies are anxious to get out. I got to get all this done, hopefully, before dark. I don't have much time to do it. Hi, babies. Hi there. How are you doing? How's my girl? How's Walter? Boy, look at... <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness there you go baby that there there's there's two girls and a little boy in heaven right there wild child and little whitey and my beautiful wife chris they're in heaven she loves to feed those babies and they just love her too look at that isn't that special and uh, she's really not feeding them she's just holding the holding a pan for them aren't you honey yeah now they've got carrots in there. They've got some bread. They got a couple of oatmeal cookies on top with raisins in them. And uh, oh, they're digging down there after something they want. See, they're kind of moving some of that bread and some of that stuff aside. But now they will eat that whole thing while I'm gone. So I'm going to take off and get up there with my carrots and try to uh, feed, feed uh, uh, split ears and check out Whitey. And I want you to look at something else here. What's happened while I've been talking over there? And if I move that thing around, my camera gets real unlevel. Sorry about that, guys and girls. But you look over there, and at the feeder, we got our South Fresh food in. We got feed over there. And look at that wad of turkeys. We had two gobblers out there a few minutes ago, and now it's turned into a big wad of turkeys. It's probably 15 or 20 over there at least. And only see one deer. But I'm going to look at all those turkeys. Look at all those turkeys over there. Big bunch of turkeys over there. 
excuse the camera work, guys. I got it on a tripod. I'm trying to get it squared around here and get it in so I can get gone. Kind of crazy, but there's a big wad of turkeys over there. Look at all those turkeys. We've got our South Fresh Deer food in. And it's turkey food also. You can see they are getting after it big time. We've had our brotherhood of bucks there this evening. And while we're leaving, I'm going to leave. And Chris, I'm really zoomed in there. Oh, Jimmy. Zoomed in there way too tight. That's what you call zooming in tight right there, isn't it? <laughs> Those babies are having a ball. They are eating, eating, eating. Honey, do you love your babies? You love them, I know. They love you too. All right, honey, it'll probably be dark when I get back, okay? All right. I'm going to go try to get this deer video done before it gets dark. Beautiful time of the day. Kind of windy and still in at least 90 degrees. Golly, I just had to walk out here and kind of pan down the lake a little bit. When you look out there and you see that beautiful, calm, dead calm water, that's something you really don't get to see a, a lot on lakes. Early in the morning is the best time to see it. It's been uh, this way for several mornings. See the reflection of the mountain over there on the water. Is that gorgeous or is that gorgeous? Reflection on the water. Nothing breaking the water's surface except a, an fish, occasional fish striking every now and then or bird dipping down into the water. Sun is up. Shadows long because the sun just come over the horizon. Hopefully, get that electric fixed on that water pump and this grass can get a little green before it turns cold. That won't be long, not far away. Forecast another 100 degree day or close, two days in a row, 103, 104, here till late September. Amazing, amazing to see that, amazing. But this may very well be the last 100 degree day of 2022. One lonely duck down there swimming along, thinking blue heron flew by, thinking it's a big wide world and I have it all to myself. See the fish breaking out there in the distance, many of them. The world is waking up. Thank you, Lord. What a great day to be alive. And on the other side of the house, we have a yard full of turkeys. <laughs> There's my babies out there. There's my babies. Have a yard full of turkeys. Look at that big gobbler right there. Look at that big gobbler. And a Jake. And a Jake. A couple of hens. We pan over there toward the feeder and we have lots of turkeys. We have lots of turkeys. Gobblers and hens, babies that have grown up. Got a really good ratio of gobblers to hens. I'm gonna try to work on those coyotes and stuff big time and maybe the coons a little bit over the winter. Hoping to have a little bit more time at the ranch than normal. We'll be here taking care of Chris. So hopefully be here a little bit more than normal. Might get to spend more time in the woods doing a little damage to the critters that hurt the other critters that we have. Good critters and bad critters. Uh, pretty boy laying right there. He's about to get all of his velvet off. We had a bunch of deer out here this morning. They're all wandering around, starting to come back. The feeder will be going off here in a little bit. Have a little bit of a late run on the feeder. Beautiful big fat doe come up there. I love those big fat does. <laughs> yes, I do. Morning at the Eagle is always exciting as we check on everybody and make sure that everybody's up running around in here and kind of look at the big brotherhood out there of all the bucks and see if uh, everybody made it through the night. The wild in the woods is still the wild in the woods and not everybody makes it every day. So it's always nice to look out there and see TC and Ot 6 and Forest and Lucky 13 and Molly and a bunch of turkeys. 
We can lose a turkey every now and then and not really realize it for a while. And then you turn around and look at the white deer and you see all of them in here. Prince Charming just walked back there and Casper and I, or Snow White, Casper and Ice following him and Prince Charming right there. The babies are all good and well this morning. The Patsy pouring a little water in their deal, filling them up with water. They're all excited about a brand new day, just like everybody always is. And Beamer's been out for her little morning deal. <laughs> hey, Beamer. Hey, Beamer. Hey, Beamer, baby. Hey, Beamer, baby. That's my girl. That's my girl. So, all is good as we start another day at Twin Eagle Ranch. My, 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 will you look at this. What a bunch of beauties. What a bunch of beauties we have out here today. Looky there in the prayer circle, everybody laying around praying on a Sunday morning. Chris and I are getting ready for church. We'll be heading that way shortly. I've been out on the road working the last two Sundays. One of those weekends I did get to attend Free Grace United Church up in Elk River, Minnesota. What a great church. What a great church. What a great worship service. Got pretty dough out there. Beautiful, big, beautiful, pretty doe. And Mr. Forrest, what a buck. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful buck. Looky there, looky there, turkeys. <laughs> Ot six, Ot on one side, nine on the other side now, AKA Ot nine. My little Molly, my little Molly that we thought we'd lose has turned into a beautiful little girl. She's eating out of Apache's hand right now. She's not quite eating out of mine. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that beautiful? What a way to start a Sunday. It's dead calm. Look at here at Aunt Nine come over here to me. He says, I want to be like Forrest. Lucky number 13. <laughs> Forrest says, hey, guys, that's my boss. That's my boss, not yours. Look at this. Isn't it amazing to have big, beautiful bucks come up to you like that? Hey, baby. Hey, baby, you're keeping the smell on my hand. <laughs> Forrest is punch, punching him in the butt there saying, hey, stay away from my boss. Hey, don't you be lowering those horns at me. Do not be lowering those horns at me. Got to keep an eye on them. Got to keep an eye on them. And the turkeys and everybody's waiting for me to throw some feed. That's exactly what we're getting ready to do. Getting ready to put some feed out. Texas Hunter's throwing three times a day. This is just extra stuff that y'all get. Yeah, extra stuff. Yeah, you bet, extras. Nothing wrong with a little extra. There you go, Force. I know Force, he's got to have some. Force has got to have some. Right up here off the bat for him. Spread it out where everybody gets to play, including the turkeys. <laughs> Several scoops out here so everybody gets to play. Yeah. And keep looking counted lately. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I guess we got about ten out here. Yeah. Okay guys. That's a pretty good pretty good way to start a Sunday morning. What do y'all think? Go in and get Chris completely ready for church. She's been over at Sherry's the last two Sundays and gone to the Cooks and Keys Baptist Church. Look at that. And I hear geese. Can you hear the geese in the background? Let's see if they're going to fly over. They're flying. I know they're talking like that. They're flying. We've had some pretty good bunches come in. Some bunches have 30 or 40 birds in them. Hard to, hard to get a picture of them. They come and land and they leave and happens quickly. But that is quite a Sunday morning. Sunday morning, dead calm. Indian summer in Oklahoma. It's gonna be another 90 plus degree day, but they say not 100. Oh, here comes a big gobbler running in late. Let me get in there and have some breakfast. Yeah, yeah.